Uh, hello, this is a uh, short note about a powerful tool uh, for celestial navigation and actually many aspects of navigation in general. It's a free PC app written by Stan Klein, oh, me, 20, more than 20 years ago, and Stan passed away some years ago, but we've worked with him for 10 or 15 years. And um, one of the things that he had asked us to do was to host his program called Celestial Tools, which we do, and I'll show you where you can get that on our website. And it was originally written uh, for the uh, Power Squadron, and uh, Stan was an excellent uh, navigation teacher and devoted a, a whole lot of time to making some really wonderful resources. And this is one of them. He also, by the way, was a big help to us in uh, reviewing and finding some bugs in our book, uh, Hawaii by Sextant. Um, and he's mentioned there for that. Uh, okay, so here's the product, and it's a, it does, it, and I wanna focus on just one part of this very big application. It does very many things, and I can just recommend to download it, have a look at it, see what it does. But I wanna just do one thing with it, because it's important for learning celestial navigation. And that's this function here called Site Reduction Methods and Fix. And what it does is it simply shows you if you do a site reduction from celestial navigation, no matter which method you're doing, he's got all the methods there, what every step of the process should look like. So it's an amazing tool for learning celestial navigation on your own or in a course to double check your work. And let me show just where you get the program. Here's starpath.com. And, uh, oh, hmm, I should have checked this. Probably under downloads. Downloads, okay. And here it is, Stan Klein Celestial Tools. That's a PC program. You click it, you'll download the executable. There's a note here about the program. However, there's also detailed, a much more detailed help file within the program. So you download it here. It's a free program, PC only. Okay, so here's the program. And then when you click this button, SR Methods and Fix, then you get this window shows up. And I'm doing it now because I have pre-computed, I mean, I loaded one of these to save some time. And what you do then is you take any site... Re now again, look, it doesn't matter. We're doing site reduction based on essentially LHA, uh, declination, and latitude, but you can put in your GHA and longitude and it'll figure that out. But, um, but it doesn't matter what the body is. Now I have here an example of a moon, but it doesn't matter, moon, star, planet, it doesn't matter. Once, you've, once you're down to the GHA and declination, it doesn't matter what it was. So, but here's what you do, here's the GHA, and I just did this example, here's a GHA 138 4.6, that goes up here, the declination. Oh, and by the way, I'm using here just a sample from our book. Oh, I should show our book. Uh, uh, let me just do that. Uh, books. Uh, we have a lot. Okay, Celestial Navigation right here. This is the textbook where I'm taking these, these very samples that we're working. It's, it's out of this book. Okay, and then you've got the declination that's here. And uh, HO, the HO value is here. And that, now again, what it's not testing is you gotta look up in, in the Nautical Almanac how, you've, how you find the GHA for the hours and then the minutes and seconds correction and how you look up the declination in the Almanac and make the D correction. And with all the HS, sextant, all, all this over here, all this over here, index correction, dip, and altitude correction. That's not being tested here. This is just testing the site reduction process and the intermediate steps of it. So it is assume you've got your HO, your HO already figured. And what we're doing is double checking your methods for getting HC right here. And so that's all here. And then at this point, uh, oh, and then the DR, here's a DR position here that goes up in here. And then you choose the method you want to do. And here's 249, volume two. That's what we do a lot of our courses. A lot of our original coursework is in 249, volume two and three. Later, we'd use the NAO tables. Uh, and I don't have an example right now on that. But by the way, here's what he calls nautical almond. He calls NASR. Nautical Almanac Site Reduction. These have later, as time went by, are more commonly now called the NAO tables, Nautical Almanac Office tables. 
But once you have this in here, then you can just say hit this one, and then it computes the values. And this is what you should see. It confirms the GHA. It confirms this. It, now, it double checks that you got the right assumed longitude. It figures the LHA. That's something you have to do. That's 16 degrees over here. Assume latitude, declination, increments, and so forth. And then this is what you should pull out. Tabulated HC, 50 degrees, 29 minutes. I agree with that. The D value is 57. I agree with that. And the tabulated azimuth angle is 155, and you see that here, and so forth like that. And then you see HC is what you should get, 51 degrees, 15 minutes. 51 degrees, well, HC, we get 51 degrees, 15.2. But th now, now this is real subtlety. We actually do a, a trick interpolation, a trick interpolation on our... Uh, on our site reduction process, so we actually get this. Uh, we get a little bit, we get a 15.2. But if you had done this with, say, do it with Pub 229, that's more accurate. What do you get there? Where is it? Oh, yeah, 50, 51, 15.2. So the little trick that we do in interpolation explained in a book improves on. It improves on 249. 249 is technically only rounded to the nearest whole minute. But there's a trick in there that works essentially 75% of the time. So that is that. that, and that and so that's the value of that. And then you can do the NAO tables. Like if I did the same solution with NAO tables, these are all the intermediate values from those very special tables. And we'll maybe add another example later. And I think I have here, oh, bummer, where is it? Let me just see, um, uh, preview. Um, oh yeah, I'll just put this up here. Here's just one other example I did. I'll show this and then you can just stop the frame and read it and see how this works. This is just one more example. This happens to be for a sun. Again, it doesn't matter what the body is once you're down to this level of sight reduction. Okay, that's all I want to say about that. Thanks.